This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. This is our 500 gallon offset smoker on a trailer. And I want to show you a little bit about why this one is different from some others. So here we go. Okay, first, we didn't use a propane tank, even though you saw the dome end on it. We used brand new pipe. And a 500 gallon uh, smoker would actually be a nine foot long. This one actually measures 10 foot, 10 inches. Uh, we gave uh, uh, 15 inches of extra space between the firebox and the meat rack. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of flame shooting up in there or that real hot flare spot that you see on some other trailer pits. Because uh, many of them, you can't even use this whole third side of the pit. Well, this one you can because we made it a little bit longer. And that's something that we can customize in your order. We can make it have even more space if you desire. Uh, we can go longer with it and uh, make it, you know, almost whatever length that you want. Of course, this comes with the insulated firebox. Got heavy, uh, you know, thick insulation in there. Uh, you know, we're painted with automotive paint. Uh, this one black on this pit and then red on the trailer and of course uh, the stainless steel shelf and you know the custom rims are nice addition uh, we got led lights box in on the back uh, from around here uh, this one's built on a six foot floor by 14 foot trailer uh, a lot of storage area here uh, you have options on your trailer size. Uh, you know, you're welcome to order it. You know, it's maybe a, a, a five foot wide um, if you'd like. But uh, since a 36 diameter pit, you're going to have some width. We want to give you some extra room in case you want to load it up with other features. Maybe you'd like a grilling pit, uh, fryer, Santa Maria grill, something of that nature. All right. So, take a look on the inside of the bed here. Of course, we've got, you know, good sized counterweights. And we use a stainless steel uh, three quarter inch by one foot rod handles. Yes, I can open and close it with one hand. Uh, if we look inside the pit, you'll see that we have a space for a water pan right back over here. Good amount of space there. Okay, the racks will slide out. Uh, that's a great setup to have. You can order yours with tuning plates or without. We got thermometers mounted here. Two thermometers on this side. Lid latches, uh, the grease drain out down here at the bottom. And we fitted this pipe with a dome end cap uh, to give extra space between the cooking rack and the exhaust manifold. All right. And now we made an extra wide manifold here and it's fitted with a tall eight and a half inch diameter smokestack that folds down so you can pull it in and out of a garage or carport. Uh, that's pretty important, you know, so you can store it out of the rain, especially if you, you know, spending money on this trailer pit and you got a nice paint job. Uh, other options for ordering. Okay, you can order it. Uh, standard barbecue pit black, you know, that's uh, it's going to be the least expensive way to go. Uh, but you can get it also uh, just clear coated, uh, you know, without doing a fancy paint job. You can get it with stainless on the shelf, no stainless. Uh, you can have expanded metal there if you wanted. Uh, we have different options for paint colors. Uh, some customers order their trailers in green, uh, some red. Uh, 
so uh, we can do the pit blue if you want, or white, or red, whatever color you desire, pretty much. So it's also outfitted with the brakes on the trailer. Uh, the brakes are good to have. It's a heavy, heavy duty trailer. Um, you know, this pit's gonna weigh a lot, so the brakes are, are good. Uh, you can order yours as a three lid or a two lid. Like I said earlier, you can get it longer and have a three lid. Anyways, Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and we hope to see you soon. We can also install cooking and warmer cabinets above the fire boxes. This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits. Thank you for tuning into my channel.